All right, Jay Foss back with a war video. Um, this is still Horde War or Minion War, and we're facing Seven Days Departed, uh, going in for hit number one. They have a ton of uh, Three Kingdoms defenses set up. But this is part of the farm phase, so hopefully we can get this one. Okay, that's a green diamond out of the start. I do have to be careful with uh, Barra's mana cut. Um, I don't think those... Honestly, even if those do kill her, it's not a bad time. It's You don't want to kill her on the pop. Because then you might not have anything left to get your charge back. I'll take it vertically this way. It's actually not a bad turn of events. Um, I'll be more likely to be ghosting on the right side. So what I'm going to do is hit Grace and Francine just on the two. And then I'll come back with the final... Hit on all three. Okay, that uh, is two ghosts and two regular. I need one more green before popping the diamond, basically. There it is. I'll go ahead and do this mini heal. Do this side now. And how low is he? 86, so I don't think the two yellow will kill him, but the three red afterward may. And I have a good, enough green to go again, so we'll just do that. And hit one complete. <clears throat> All right, hit number two. As I mentioned last war, my teams are kind of in flux based on how many War Three Kingdoms teams there are. So, kind of saving certain combinations for the uh, different for the non bear tanks. So hopefully this is enough going in for hit number two. Alright, <clears throat> um, hmm, there is some potential to set up a red diamond, which I feel I'm going to need, so let's start there, hmm, maybe I didn't think that through. Uh, we do have red into the green guy with a blue combo. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to slide anything over or manipulate to bring that one red tile up, but I'm going to make sure. The green move on the right doesn't really help me get any closer to a diamond. The blue move on the right doesn't really help me at all. Um... So I think I'm kind of a little bit stuck. Yeah, I mean, that's both my colors. I kind of have to take it. And not liking where I'm at here. Um, 
I do have another blue. My board's pretty dry on the bottom. Don't really want to play purple directly into the wing. Hmm. I mean, I can take that blue, but it doesn't really give me much hope for what's coming up behind it. <laughs> Guess I'll just take it, see where we're at then. I do at least have a combo here. It will set up a blue. We'll see if it's late. Got a red, which is nice. And we'll see if we're a turn late on this. Might be. I can do a blue and set up a red, but I'm going to get hit by Pingy pretty hard here with the Undead Horde. All right, well, definitely got to put the taunt up and heal. I know I won't get the minions, but I need the taunt to survive the upcoming stuff. All right, we'll destroy the minions on this side. Fire Lewenya so Jean cannot be blocked. It won't kill Barra. It's closer than I thought, though. And we'll put out the fire. Um, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally spawn minions on Barra to keep them alive. So I think I'll just think this kind of throwaway place so the fire... Gets a bear this turn. Okay, I still have taunt for one turn. Um, I could take the red. I'd prefer ghosted red, but for now, I'll just take it and finish off Pingy. All right, so we're going to ghost on this right side to hopefully we get a red match. There's a blue match that helps a little. There's a red tile. No, don't combo into him, please. <laughs> um, so we can set up a red match. This is obviously going to hit pretty... Alright, I just want to make sure I don't blow a match I should have won. Um, so we'll set up that red, I guess, see if something better comes up. So he's going to fire anyway, so it's an okay time to take that blue tile into him. Get the heal ready at least. I will go with the red there. That's an enhanced tile. I'll take it and see where he's at. I still need more red now. Just ghost here, see what we can get on the safer side. I know I have a chance to pull up a red on the other side, but... Um...
There we go. Get two done. All right, lining up hit number three. I will uh, start by saying they started the war with 33 consecutive one shots. So credit to them. That's an impressive streak. And going in for hit number three. Okay, we have a blue diamond. That's a pretty big clear. Or can be a pretty big clear. I don't really have enough purple to do anything. I don't have taunt either on this team, so I have to be fairly fast to develop the board here. Uh, let's take the blue diamond. I got a clear, but not as many purple as I would have hoped. Um... I can take the blue into the green. It does mess up a purple match, but let's do the purple match first. I'm gonna get the overheal. No, no, not yet. Go ahead and clear these minions out. Still no purple to really work with, but let's go for the clear and get the overheal going. Still no purple. <clears throat> Clearing the blue will give me a green diamond. I think that may actually be my best bet at this point, and I can just save the heal. Um, gonna need some purple, though. Think I'm gonna have to heal again. No, well, maybe not. Definitely gonna have to use Captain of Diamonds to clear off the minions. Hmm, now is it worth using the heal here to save? Is she even boosted? No? Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and boost it. Take the four purple I got on the edge. And this should cut through most of the team. So Panther. Louie. Panther. Hit three, done. All right, hit number four. Obviously getting into the meat of their really tough defenses now. Okay, we have two purple with a chance at a third purple coming up. Um, in order to do that, I have to take this vertical one first, otherwise the horizontal one will mess it up. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a diamond play. I don't initially think that there is. So we'll start there. Did not get the one coming up, but that's okay. I know I had a green diamond there, just play the green, hopefully we get purple. We don't have the minions, I actually need the minions in this case. Um, 
I don't really want to hit any of the flanks, so I'll take this, those directly up the middle. Now, can I buy another turn to get the minions from the modifier? I think I can. I'll take this move, it's relatively safe. And here comes the mana. Attack up. Let's see where Gossip puts them. Hopefully we get a cube on Hulda. Okay, um, there's only one minion maker left, so I'm going to go ahead and cast this, I think. All right, now we need to get some... Send off some of these people with Mindless. I do have one shot at a purple here at the bottom to get Grimble back. I will take that. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and pop it. Hopefully kill that one guy It's under Mindless. And how many turns of Taunt left? Two. So make sure this guy fires while Taunt is up. Um, there's a ghost over here. Go and cast that, but then wait on Gormak till the stage minions come. I want to purple my board, that's okay. Just basically, I'll keep ghosting until we get some. Which may be why it appears. Alright, taunt, Gormak, purple tiles if needed. Hit four, complete. All right, hit number five it is. Running out of minion, hard minion counters, but still got Gobbler and Tox to offset the mana cut. Do have a Dispel, although it is only to three. And she is a little bit slower, but that's what I got left going in for hit number five. I did intentionally pick one with two purples, but we'll see if that matters in the long run. So we have a green diamond into a blue connection. It preserves my yellow up top, sets up a yellow at the bottom. Um, I kind of like that. Okay, I do not want to pop here in case these yellow tiles kill her, and then I get mana cut. I want to leave the yellow diamond on the board. That was a good board. Alright, we got the mana cut. Um, looks like Toxic Candor was stood, or resisted. Now here, I don't really want to pop the yellow diamond because... Or the green one. <clears throat> because all my yellow heroes are going to charge. Or all my heroes should charge next turn anyway. So what I'm looking to do. Is a dead move. That doesn't cost me anything later. And I want to be careful here. Or I could just say. Forget it and pop the yellow. But I think I'm going to need to cast these twice. So we're going to play the dead move. Into Laibu or whatever. Uh, and then get Gobbler next turn and eat the minions, is my hope. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take the minions away. I have more ghosting on the left side. So, minus defense. I'm gonna do Failing first, she hits harder just in case, well, it's not gonna be enough now.
And that is enough. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yellow. <clears throat> I think I'll actually pop the green. So Gobbler can eat the stage minions again. Okay, so chomp the minions. I am not going to play directly into that side in case I set off the boo. I'll take these ghosted instead. Alright, hit five, done. Alright, going in for hit number six, the uh, minion counters are immediately getting really slim at this point, but it's what I got left. And going in. <clears throat> All right, we can move a purple to set up one yellow. That's an option. Um, there's a green vertical, but doesn't really do a lot for me. Um, there's potential to clear... A few with that purple on one move, then yellow the next move, but it does leave me on my board a little thin. The green vertical I don't think does a whole lot for me, at least initially. The red vertical and the pingy doesn't really do anything. I think this is really my only reasonable move. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's it's what I got. Not a huge amount of options. Some chance for red to come up to clear. But my board is not in good shape, to be honest. So... Okay. So the green sets up a purple, but no real chance at yellow. I do have a blue vertical that has a chance at setting up yellow. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to overcome this one. So I basically have two things. I can move the green to set up a purple, guaranteed. Or I can bring the blue through and hope a yellow comes up. Now, I know I have the purple there, but on this board, I'm going to need to clear. Um, yeah, I think that's the risk to take here. Did not get my yellow coming up. I got one up, but not in the right spot. So this will get me to eight yellow. I think that's the play at this point. Hope I can get something down. Because I'm about to get hit with a bunch of stuff. And the penguins are going to destroy me, so... <clears throat> um, what's the dodge on this, 36? 
given that m most of my team will be dead, I kind of have to fire here. Yeah, I mean, I got to try to risk and hit through it, I think. I should, oh my goodness, that's a mistake. If I had done Poseidon first, I would have been protected. And, uh, yeah, that was... I don't think I would have came back and won the match. But I could have gotten a little bit more damage by firing Poseidon first there. That's just... Mm. Um... Well, I'm going to lose, obviously. I wasn't going to lose regardless there anyway, but... What can I do to possibly clear the most tiles? I have a purple up the middle. Won't really matter. Um, the side's going to fire anyway on the right. I could just clear those seven and uh, hope something comes up. It does preserve the purple. Um, I guess that's the... Let me wipe my team. Yep. All right, hit six done. They have 106 with 3,200 points, and we have 20, so they're ahead by a good bit. The total is 262, so disappointed. That I didn't get the 6 of 6, but overall, that's a big improvement from a couple weeks ago against these defenses versus Korea. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.